informational interviewing. I have found that fewer than 10% of the PhDs who graduate from even top universities have done even a single informational interview by the time they graduate. Informational interviewing is the number one way in which people outside academia look for and get their next job. What is it? It's literally going to different people in their employment, sitting down with them and asking them questions. And there are lots of advantages to informational interviewing. For starters, you are in control. You're the one who sets up the interview. You can go in and ask very particular questions, maybe some questions that wouldn't be appropriate in a job interview. Also, you can see people in their actual work environment. You can get feedback and advice. And you can make sure the work environment is right for you. One critical thing, doing an informational interview sends a very strong signal that you are interested. And even if they don't have a job opening then, by doing an informational interview, you're signaling that you'd be interested in some sort of opportunity in the future. And finally, informational interviews are great because it's practice, and practice really matters. So how do you get started? Get a point of contact through your network or from the Career Planning and Placement Center you're using. Contact the person by phone or email and tell them how you got their name, tell them how you were referred. The best way to start an informational interview is have somebody in your network refer you to somebody. Oh, my friend Jacob is finishing his PhD in physics at Syracuse and he's really interested in blah. Would you be willing to talk to him? And because it's a warm referral from somebody they know, almost always the answer is yes. Prepare some questions in advance. Don't waste time. A typical informational interview is only 30 minutes, and make sure that you're going to go in and have a substantive conversation. The best questions to ask are questions like, what's the required background and training, and specific information regarding the career, personal experiences, advice, and future trends. For example, a great question to ask, where is your company going to be hiring or growing in the next 12 months? Well, that's a great question to ask, because you can hear, long before a job ad is ever advertised, where they anticipate growth. One of the interesting things about informational interviewing is while it's not, you're not asking for a job, you may end up having a good connection with the person you meet with, and they may end up becoming part of your network. And in fact, this has happened both to me and to many other people I interviewed, that in an informational interview, they had a great and enjoyable conversation, and then weeks later, the person calls them up, hey, I really enjoyed our conversation, I passed your resume around to other people in the office, and you know we have this new initiative starting in, well, dot, 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 would you be interested? And what a great opportunity to put yourself in. Now you're the insider. In some ways, you should treat an informational interview like um, a job interview. You should do your homework, think carefully about what you, you want to learn, prepare questions, you want to think a lot about what stories you want to tell about yourself and how you want to dispel maybe some of their stereotypes if they're not familiar with physical scientists. You should definitely write a thank you note. Physical note on paper these days I find it's a little Victorian. I think an email is, is perfectly good and appropriate, but do it quickly, either the afternoon or the day after you have your interview. In some ways you shouldn't treat it an in informational interview like a formal interview for a job. You shouldn't ask for a job even indirectly and, and realize that you're only speaking with one person. You may not get a total picture of the organization. Now some people always ask me, why are people willing to be bothered? You know, why would they bother spending half an hour at, you know, talking to me? I'm just a grad student. Well, the answer is people like to give back. Many people got their jobs from chance encounters or random opportunities and they like to give back. And plus, because you've been referred by somebody they know, they're doing it as a favor to their friend. Also, people like talking about themselves. You know, it beats working for half an hour. And, you know, even though it's not an interview, interview for a job, finding fresh talent is critical to an organization's success. So when somebody expresses interest in an informational interview, many employers are curious. Well, maybe this person has some unique background and experience that would be useful here. And finally, information transfer is a two-way process. They can learn some important stuff from you. Again, many early career scientists think, well, but I'm still in school. What do I know? Well, the answer is you know a lot already, and there are lots of things that you could share with them.